Good morning. Frank here. Uh, I rewarded myself with a couple of new items. We'll see what it's like, this being one of them. Apparently it's got an all steel frame. Works from 50 to 100 Psi's. Uh, 4,500 Bipums at four Kapums and one foot pedal. Oh, well, I bought it because it's got the dies. So I'm gonna open this up and uh, see what I need to do. I guess I gotta build a base for it. Hmm. There's some tubing here. I don't know if I want tubing. We'll see. Uh, larger version of the shrinker stretcher. And for the trailer, the car hauler, project hauler, crop hauler, a new jack. All of course from our local Canadian Princess Auto, which is similar to Harbor Freight in the United States of America. Okay, well I'm gonna get to unboxing this and uh, I'll let you know what I think. Ooh, I'm getting excited. I want to really try this out. So, the planishing hammer we have right here. This beehive setup to hold this in. This is like rubberized around the edge. I'm not quite sure. I guess just to give it some grip. The uh, pressure setting, or I guess for loading, I don't know quite what. I'll, I won't know till I actually try it. And it comes with a two, three, and four inch radius. I don't know if they, that, that's what it actually means because they're usually way bigger than that. One inch radius, two inch radius, and three inch radius. Well, that's not a three inch radius, I'm sure. But regardless, uh, it's probably gonna give you what I want. I'm gonna have a little experiment. I've got the uh, other thing of a bob over here. Now, you require tools to change this and you have to change the dies, which is fine, I don't mind that. And I guess there's adjustments. Somewhere in here it probably tells you how all that works. Um, yeah, so this one is shrinking. I probably shouldn't do that. And I'll jacko. One wire, it's got a little light underneath like I'd ever use that. And uh, I'm gonna peel that sticker off. I don't mind the color. And uh, that's gonna go in the car trailer. I might have to mount it under. We'll have to see once I get it stretched out and see how high it lifts. Or maybe I've got to modify this pipe piece on the end. I'm going to cut the straps off. But uh, yeah, so I've got a hunk of sheet metal I'm going to clean up and then uh, we'll do some playing. And I'll bring you back while I'm doing that. Well, part three. Um, this thing here, I'm pretty happy with it. It's got a little regulator valve. You can go pretty... Uh, Pretty light with the blast or pretty heavy. Um, the adjuster doesn't jump out like I figured it might, but you just do a couple little clicks. You can really work with some. I don't know why you would need to do that. So she goes right to the top and stays there. Tighten that knob up, it's not tightening. So that's going to get some epoxy. Foot valve. I don't know, I don't care for it. It, uh, when you step, there's really no feel for it. And then it leaks. So when you're not using it, it's pissing air. And that's one of my things that I just dislike. Anyway, I've got another foot valve somewhere. I'll probably change it and just use that one on the other two. No, I don't need it on the other two anymore because it was a planishing hammer that I built junk so I can use that other valve which is better um, this thing here I was playing with some 
I'm gonna guess 18 gauge, you really gotta push on it. 16 mild steel is what it says, but you do have to press on it. Now I've seen uh, issues where guys can't get the dies after they've cracked them. Now I'm not sure how much effort it takes to crack them, but you gotta lean on this thing to get it to actually pull some metal. So, my fingers were in the way again. So go back to this thing. I uh, took a chunk of an old hood and flattened it out and I uh, did a little bit of shrinking around this edge and then I ran it on the planishing hammer. And uh, well, it's not much, but for me to do a cab corner on say that Studebaker, which is kind of one of the reasons why I have this, uh, I think it's really going to be a game changer for me to have a decent planishing hammer. This isn't the best. This is by no means uh, make it customs product. By comparison, uh, his is really nice. But I've got something that I can make do with because that's what I do is I make do with scrap metal and that. But the whole trick here, you can't be can't be doing this stuff with paint and rust all over it although I did my best to clean it up it affects how the finish turns out but honestly when you're sanding you can tell that this is a low spot in here and a guy can work a guy could actually work that out more mind you the English wheel if I went to the English wheel now I could uh, really tune that up these are things are moving back into the shop in a couple weeks so yeah, I'm satisfied with that. I guess uh, pedestals are next. I'll get on that and uh, yeah. Trailer jack, once I install it, I'll probably bring you back. But uh, I think for, the, for now, the trailer jack is gonna get stood in a corner or not. Maybe I'll drag it in and do it today. We'll see. Uh, I have to build a mount for this because it's too close to my tailgate so I gotta work on that anyway uh, as always I'd like to thank you both for watching and believe it or not uh, what is it the 20th of November 8 19th it's uh, gonna hit plus 10 Celsius today which is uh, kind of a rare thing in these parts so it's gonna be a gorgeous day I might want to play outside I almost cut the grass. Not really, but even if I could, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, thank you all for watching, and we'll be back with some more truck stuff soon enough. There's the stand. Oh, there's tools on it for the uh, shrinker stretcher. Music. And uh, the Jack is on and done. All of a sudden there's a big push. It's on, turned sideways. I should have clearance for my tailgate right here. So that's good. I have to lift it up because I couldn't get the foot in because it's really, really long. So I'll come with the tractor and grab it. And uh, now I gotta go move uh, a car, body airplane of all things anyway that's it for now uh, as last time like I said on the previous video I'd like to thank you both for watching off to go help Dwayne